Well, filming for a major movie is happening now, and it has downtown Macon buzzing. 41 NBC's Cameron Branscombe spoke with local business owners about how filming has impacted them. The Color Purple remake has been filming in downtown Macon, and we spoke to a few shops about how the filming has impacted their business. Uh, after the lunch hours, that set crew, when they go on break, they've packed us out, and they've, they've done us some good business. That's a reaction to the extra business filming has brought to Macon. Your Pie General Manager Candace Wilburn says filming has slowed down their usual amount of customers, but the producers of the movie have compensated some businesses impacted by road closures. Mike Seekins is the owner of Famous Mike's on Poplar Street. He says filming has caused some inconvenience, but overall he's happy with how everything was handled. Very exciting. I think it's great for making. Um, it has affected it in ways, but like I said, they make sure that you're compensated. And I'm, I'm pleased with the whole situation. It just so happens that Theater Macon is getting ready to put on their production of Color Purple Musical. The cast of the Theater Macon production got a chance to meet Fantasia, who's playing Seely in the movie production. Charles Davis is portraying Mr. in the play and says you couldn't have scripted this any better. It seems like it was the right time to do it. We, like, it, like Rachel said, we were supposed to do this a long time ago, and it didn't happen. Maybe it wasn't supposed to happen then just so it can happen the way it's happening now. DeAndrea West is portraying Celie in the play, and she says it'll bring people together. We're seeing the bridge um, of how it's bringing people from all across to come to, you know, just see and really like unite on, you know, in this one thing. So I'm excited just to see how it's affecting the communities, how it's bridging everyone together, so. The play is set to open May 13th. Tickets go on sale this Monday. Reporting in Macon, Cameron Branscombe, 41 NBC News.